So bakers, you have two hours to get your curry breast on the table. Remember, we're judging you on organisation, presentation and taste. On your marks, get set. Curry breast is a quintessentially French dessert made of choux pastry and a Prahlin flavoured cream. It was created in 1910 to commemorate the Paris Breast Parry Bicycle Race begun in 1891. Its circular shape represents the wheel of a bicycle. I don't know, I mean, to be honest with you, I think it's going to be quite tough. Um, I don't think I can get anyone's way Oh, I think it's a really good recipe. <laughs> I haven't got a good chance of pulling it off. The bakers need to start by making their choux pastry so that it has ample time to cook and cool before they add the filling. So, first of all, you melt the butter in the water and then once it's melted you get it to a thick boil and then you shoot the flour, the sifted flour in the, into it and stir it pretty hard. Oh, I need to measure out the strong flour. Strong flour is important, otherwise the whole thing will just collapse on itself, which it has done in a few practice sessions. But we've got our own recipe, and we think it'll do a bit better than the one we were given. I am preparing my shoe pastry for my curry breast. Well, I'm just going to close that today, so it's better than it has the past, because it wasn't my best work. Chew pastry is notoriously difficult to perfect. Hannah and Izzy from Stocks' house are making two batches. This year, the bakers will be judged by three professionals in the culinary industry. Uh, hi there, my name is Emil Galvin. Um, I work with uh, Galvin Restaurants alongside my father and my uncle. Um, it's Chris and Jeff Galvin. Um, we've run Galvin restaurants now for the last 10 years. Um, for our restaurants, we've got two Michelin stars. The thing with a good Paris press is the shoe pastry is fundamental. So you've got to make sure you get it beaten well, bake it well, um, and then obviously once you fry a bit, you've got to let it rise well. Um, nice cut. My name is Rene. I'm the catering manager at the uh, senior school. Uh, for the last uh, last year, I will look for um, the shoe. If she's not overcooked, not undercooked, and also I think that the filling needs to be uh, the right, uh, be the right consistency. It needs to be the, the right cream, and um, that's what I'm looking for. I own the uh, little tea room in the village, so we've got his tea room that opened up in October. Uh, I used to work at the Lanesborough Hotel as a Mandarin Oriental Hotel in London, as a sous chef in the pastry kitchen. So I am just pure pastry, and that's all I do. Um, at the tea room I have another chef who works for me who does all the normal food, and then I do all the cakes uh, for the tea room, but also provide wholesale side as well to other tea rooms, cafes in Essex. As long as they've uh, got the uh, right shoe ingredients and their shoe comes out, then it shouldn't be too difficult. Also joining the judging panel are last year's winners Henry Lewis and Hugo Jenkins. As the bakers continue to prepare their shoe pastry, there is an air of confidence about the room. However, under the surface, tensions are brewing. Um, yeah, it's going all right. We've got our mixture sorted. Look how lovely our pastry looks. You know what? We're cooking on gas, literally. Well, I mean, Elvis have just cooked their eggs. Uh, scrambled eggs. <laughs> be nice with a bit of salmon. But, um, I mean, Hannah just asked me what to do. So... Sorry, Hannah. I don't know if I'm right, you'll pick. You didn't even win. You're the lucky green card. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they had to ask me what to do. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. They're, whis they're, whis yeah, they're whisking it. They have no idea. Under baked biscuit. She was comparing the shortbreads to Mr. Kit. There's some rumours going around the bake off tent. You cooked your egg and you weren't supposed to. Who's been saying that? Share. Funny, funny. But do you think you should have cooked your egg? Huh? Well, look how it's come out look now. Good. Look at that. Look. We're winning. That's yeah. yeah, good. good. We're winning in life. Yeah. Is that how it's supposed to look? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, happy like. A little bit more like scrambled eggs, but we're getting there. Scrambled eggs are nice, though. The shoe pastry needs approximately 30 minutes in the oven, depending on the thickness of piping. 
However, it can very quickly go from undercooked to burnt if the bakers do not watch them carefully. With their shoe pastry in the oven, the bakers must now turn to the filling, which consists of a whipped vanilla cream and a praline dust. Some bakers are adding extra ingredients to try and make their bakes stand out for the judges. So rather than using just the basic uh, almonds on top of the shoe pastry that we've given, we're going to use some um, uh, sweet and salted caramel spread. Just add something different and uh, we think it tastes a lot nicer. Uh, yeah. yeah, very good. So, yeah, it's uh, definitely some stars in here already. I can see first batches come out of the oven, um, looking very promising. Um, there's a few second batches going on and I think uh, they, they might be needed. Um, but overall, I think everyone's doing a fantastic job, um, really taking it seriously. Um, yeah, it's a very, very good, uh, good paper so far. They're in the oven, it's done the whipped cream, and now we just need to just wait for another 20 minutes and then we'll take them out, cut them in half, and then put them back in. 80 millilitres exactly. We forgot to add the water. Yeah. <laughs> 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 With 30 minutes remaining, the pressure is on the bakers to get their shoe pastry out the oven so that it has time to cool before they add their fillings. <laughs> For those bakers who have successfully managed to take their parry breast out of the oven, removing it from the parchment plate now presents a new challenge. Get, get out a, um, yeah. With just 20 minutes remaining on the bake, Elwins are only just beginning to mix their second batch of shoe pastry. For the filling, the bakers must whip cream to form soft peaks and then add vanilla pods for flavouring. Uh, it's going pretty well. A couple of them have crumbled, but we have backup spare, so uh, it should be okay. We're going to use our two best ones. And yeah, they did get, they got stuck to the baking paper. Quite interesting. <laughs> We've had some successes, some failures, and we're re going again on a few, so it's looking good, I think. Bakers, you have 15 minutes. 15 minutes for your puppy. Yep, they look brilliant, very happy. Even bake. Maybe a bit done on the almonds, but they always crisp up first. Organisation or 10 out of 5 out of 5 on organisation. Thank you. Oh, that's 
Consistent cream, it's consistent all the way through with the, uh, the pastry as well. Good. That shoe is very good. It is. Cream has got a lot of flavour as well, and you've got a nice crunch. So, yeah. Very nice. Top underneath the ice shoe, the top looks slightly burnt, but other than that, other than that it's very nice. <laughs> oh, very good. Just missed, I think the praline is a bit. <coughs> Somewhere, but not really. Not. You could do with a bit more crunch, but the, uh, the cream has got a delicious flavour. It's very sweet, and you can taste the vanilla coming right through. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm ready for you though. It's quite soft, but it's very nice. Very good. <coughs> Shoe needs to be a little bit more cooked. Yeah. And we'll just go from there. Yeah, I agree with Steve. <coughs> Shoe needs a bit, little, little, little bit more cooking. Okay. Otherwise, yeah, excellent. Cheers. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It's very sweet, but uh, it was presented very nicely on the, on the plate, on the board. You know, it's very even all around. <coughs> presented well. The is quite strong. Mm. It's very nice. Yeah, excellent. It's very good. Um, let's see what Dickens has got. Great, the shoe was excellent. Carling and the flavours were there as well. Very good. Caramel is a nice touch, you can sort of taste it coming through, and there's a nice uh, balanced amount of color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, <coughs> shoe is very good, cream is very good. Whether you needed a caramel to go with Crown Harris Press, mm -hmm. you're going off the brief a little bit, but the flavors are all there, so it's very good. Thank you. Nice, the, the shoe, the cream, excellent. It's a bit crunchy on top, and it shouldn't really be crunchy. And like uh, Steve said, um, salted caramel is a great idea, but then it's not the curry breast anymore. So, but it's, it's a great, you know, it's a great, uh, a great curry breast. 
Um, I think the comments from the judges were all positive. I think they could have added a bit more pra praline into the parry breast, but it's overall, it's good. we thought it was alright, didn't we? But yeah. clearly they've got different these guys. Great competition today, though. Yeah, it was. We've got a competition to see who can. Come home with the gold medal. Yeah, just gonna, yeah. Just gonna see what they say and what happens. But we've had fun. Yeah, we've had great fun. We've had a great time throughout this yeah. whole process. Really, really and we're gonna take fun. a lot from it. Yeah, we're gonna and learn. And share our learning yes. from it. And as you can see, the judges loved us. Yeah, they really liked them. Gone. All so gone. gone. <laughs> All gone. Shows they really liked it. It's Ethan. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Hell wins. Remember it. <laughs> So yeah, we got quite positive yeah, feedback. Quite happy with it. Yeah, quite happy with how the, the breasts yeah. turned out. Yeah, must say they like. It went our, better than how we practiced. Yeah, when we practiced, you might as well just. Or in a bracket wall. Yeah, they were. Uh, well, initially they were really positive, and then as they went on, they seemed to find more, more faults. Um, which is fair enough, but they're wrong. Um, I mean, the caramel just adds to it. It's a little bit sharp, you know, sweet but salty at the same time. And then it's still a parry breast. I mean, look at it. It's a caramel flavoured parry breast. It's a parry breast. So the base is pointed with the comment. Yeah, the bases are there. Um, I'm just looking forward to seeing the results. As the judges deliberate, it's a nail-biting wait for both bakers and spectators. Our bakers this evening are marked on three categories. The organisation, so are they keeping their stations tidy, washing up and clearing up after themselves. Presentation, what it looks like on the plate. And of course taste, they can be, a chip, they can be given a maximum of five points in each category and will go fourth, third, second, first place. We could win. Yeah. Okay, so in fourth place we have Charlie and Tom. In third place we had Follies, which is Georgie and Millie. In second place <coughs> is Deacon. Organisation, presentation, excellent. Taste, we just felt that the top had got a little bit too crunchy, a little too burnt, so you can have that feel that coming through. But that was it. All disagreed on your salted caramel, but that wasn't the deciding factor. It was more the top was just a little bit too crunchy, crispy, and the almonds were a little bit too. Yeah. First place then were the ladies from Stott, Hannah and Isabel. And presentation, organisation, really good. Taste was very good. Wasn't Burn, it was a very good shoe. We had a nice little flavour coming through it all. So, yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. So, we have to, to change you. Get a new apron. Do you like the cream? Yeah. 